This is the School of Law at Gonzaga University here on a Friday afternoon, October 11th, 2019. And we're going inside here to view a mural or a painting that Ben Joyce, the artist, has put on the wall. for what this means for us as an institution and our future going forward. I want to introduce you now to Father Brian Pham, who is a recent addition to the Gonzaga Law family. He's no stranger to Gonzaga, a graduate of the undergraduate institution, has worked for many years at LMU, and very excited now to welcome him to the law school, where he is our chaplain, and he also is a professor in our Indian Law Clinic, and next uh, spring is going to be teaching bankruptcy law for us. He's going to open this uh, ceremony with a prayer. Thank you, Jacob. So let us take a moment to just pause in our busy day and appreciate this moment, the moment that is brought about by a lot of hard work, by a lot of talent and skills, and by generous hearts and generous souls. And let us pray. O oh God of creation, we ask you to bless the creators, the artists in our midst, who by their gifts make the world a more joyful and beautiful realm. Through their labor, they teach us to see more clearly the truth around us. In their inspiration, they call forth wonder and awe in our own living. In their creative imagination, they call us to imagine and long for a world that strives for beauty, harmony, and justice. In their hope and vision, they remind us that all life, all creation is holy. Bless all who create in your image our God of creation. Pour your spirit upon them, our artists, that their hearts may sing and their works be fulfilled. Loving God, we pray for the artists of our time, that through their creativity, may they help us discover the beauty of all creation. And by recognizing beauty in creation, may we find you in all things. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for those beautiful words. Um, I just want to take a moment to recognize some of the people who made this project possible. And I'm going to start with Sarah Guzman, who is our Director of Alumni Engagement and Strategic Initiatives. This falls into both aspects of her title. Um, this project would not be possible if it were not for the engagement of our alumni to make this uh, a reality. At the same time, it was a strategic initiative, because how do you go about commissioning a piece of art that's over 30 feet tall um, when we're not usually in the business of doing that as a law school? And going to Ben's studio and working with him through this creative process has truly been a team effort. I also want to thank Associate Dean Jessica Kaiser, who has led the effort to beautify the building. Uh, 
and we have done a lot in that realm. Our, ben was our first artist in residence. So this project in many ways stems to his involvement with our law school as our first artist in residence. And that's a program that, that Jessica inaugurated. I also want to thank Sarah Schwering and our friends at Marcom who have done so much to help us think more critically about our brand as an institution. And you're going to see that as we present this video that was, was created by our colleagues in Marcom. Uh, to me, this is a, a special occasion for us at this institution. This marks for us a new era and a new reason to be proud of who we are at Gonzaga. It's a piece of art that is timeless, that we're going to look back on decades into the future, and it's going to be a point of connection for our students, for our faculty, for our staff, and most importantly, for our alumni. Uh, as, as you heard in the prayer, art has a way of shaping the world. It shapes who we are. It influences how we think and how we feel. And what we're trying to project through this piece called Go Forth is so fitting for us as an, ed as an educational institution, as a Jesuit institution. So this is something in which we can all be proud and take ownership. But of course, we didn't do it. Here's the person who did it. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased uh, with how this came out. And, and Ben and I have had a warm relationship since I moved to Spokane. And I want to thank you for, for being such a welcoming member of this community and such a strong supporter of your alma mater. Uh, and it was funny, Ben said to me, as this was coming to fruition, he said, are you nervous? <laughs> said, what do you mean? He said, well, this piece is going to reflect you, too. <laughs> and I thought, that's a very good point. Fortunately, we haven't been a world-class artist. We have someone of uh, growing fame and notoriety, and what's so exciting for me is I know we're capturing him only on the way up. And this piece that is directly tied to us as an institution, it's tied to him. It's a story about place. It's a story about Ben's art. It's a story about what we hope for as an institution and who we are. So I want to hand the mic to Ben to, to say a few words, and then we're going to uh, watch a short video and then move into the atrium where we can view the art and enjoy each other's company. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, so first, I'd love to thank Dean Rixby for the opportunity uh, and his whole team. You know, both Sarah's, you know, and Zach, and I don't know if Kurt's around, but uh, you know, they, they did an incredible job on approaching me with this task of, of creating a piece that, that really, um, you know, brought to life, put into an image, um, their dedication to the students in the community. And one of the things that, that really helped me through the process was they really kind of let me take the reins on the whole creative uh, approach to it. And it's important for an artist because being able to listen to, to the words and then translate that into uh, imagery uh, is what I do. And, and it was a great process the entire way. And they never put any pressure on me and just kind of let, let me develop uh, the piece. And, the video, uh, they did such a great job on it, and it explains, you know, much more in depth um, the whole symbolism behind the root structure. And so I won't get too far into what that means because it, it does an incredible job. But uh, I just wanted to uh, also, th this doesn't happen without my own team behind me. And so I wanted to thank my brother, Jason, who's been with me for 15 years now. And uh, I just couldn't do it without him. Um, and then Gil back here and, and Liz. So we, we have our team here and, uh, you know, again, it's a community approach, it's a team approach, and uh, it, it's certainly, um, you know, our honor to hang in the building, so thank you.
takeaways from Gonzaga are the, are the people. Really, it's, it's the people that really sculpted my experience there. The, the biggest impacts that this piece will have for a prospective student coming in is because the whole perspective and meaning of roots can go as deep as an individual will take it. Uh, walking into the building for the first time and seeing this piece, I think that the representation of the roots will have a direct impact because this is where the roots are going to begin you know, in this journey through through law. If someone who had never seen Ben Joyce's artwork and someone who's not affiliated with either the um, Pacific Northwest, the Inland Northwest, or um, what it means to be a painter of place, I would say that Ben Joyce's work comes from this really wonderful tradition of uh, both two-dimensional and three-dimensional pieces, uh, intersections with technology and topography, and at the same time, this really warm sense of belonging and discovery. So in many ways, the genesis of this project starts with our generous alumni benefactors. Uh, it was through the exposure to his art in our building through the Artist in Residence program that I was approached by a couple of alums who said, have you thought about commissioning a piece by Ben Joyce for the law school? Uh, so I was able to say, yes, I've thought about it, but I'm, I'm pretty certain we can't afford it. And they said, that's where we come in. I think as you walk into Gonzaga and you see one of Ben's pieces, you truly have a sense of place. And hopefully that sense of place is something that attracts prospective students with the beauty of the piece and the facilities and the people and the programs and the reputation of the school. But also as you leave and you see that piece, it ties your roots back to Spokane, it ties your roots back to Gonzaga, and it also reminds you that we gotta nourish this country we live in and make a difference going forward. To me, I hope this piece, Go Forth, is something that resonates with every student, every faculty member, every staff member, whoever comes into contact with Gonzaga Law School. It's a symbol to us and to the outward world of who we are and what our aspirations are. It also ties us back to this place, to the physicality of this special building on the banks of the Spokane River. Uh, we as an institution have a long story history as a law school, but in this building, we're only 20 years. Uh, we're gonna be here much longer, and this is something in which our whole community can take pride and can take ownership. It becomes the visual symbol for what it is that we're doing here. It's showing us that we have a connection to a place. It shows us that we can aspire to something wonderful, unseen, unimagined. The whole piece is perfect on so many different levels for us as an institution. The roots symbolizing the ties and the bonds that students build to this place, to this institution during their time with us, I think is very powerful. Uh, the depiction of the roots and their multifaceted nature, their multicolored nature, reflective of the diversity of the backgrounds and the perspectives that we bring, uh, each of us, to this institution as faculty, staff, students. And then the whole notion of go forth, as, as you look at this piece, it's literally exiting the building. It's, it's exiting the top of our building and you don't see yet what it can become. I think it's highly symbolic of our hopes for every student who comes here. Uh, this is your attachment to a place. This is a foundation from which you can build. And then the future is of your own making. But we know it's going to be spectacular. One of the other things, too, that I didn't want to create a symmetrical piece. And so the layout of these building blocks aren't symmetrical in, in composition. And that's also to, to represent that this is a unique journey for every individual. This is a focus on each individual student, and it, it's not a symmetrical perspective that the university takes. It is individual, and each student is going to have a own path. If you look at what Gonzaga's done at the law school, they've really created all kinds of outreach programs where they provide free care or free legal advice to the communities. And bringing art in is a really interesting mix to the piece of law school because 
it's the roots, right? It's about this particular piece is about the roots in the community, about people building roots with Gonzaga and going out not only into Spokane, but around the world to make a real difference. And I think we need more beauty. We need to appreciate the arts. And I think, um, let's face it, Waha is a little bit of art. It's a little bit of science, but a lot of art. And so I think bringing those together is incredible. I thought it was a wonderful idea as soon as Jacob Bruce told me that he was giving donors, benefactors, patrons of the arts um, to basically give us the gift of the heart of the law school. Go Forth is a perfect title for a piece like this because I think that it, it's not necessarily represented in the piece itself and what it is is really the outcome of the piece and so it's what this piece represents is again the building blocks and the roots and the the structure that the school gives to the individual go forth is what's beyond the piece my hope is that prospective students walk in the building and see this piece go forth and envision what this means for them in terms of their time with us as a student. We're all in a process of formation, uh, and, and certainly in legal education, part of what we're doing is, is forming minds, forming people to go out and make the world a better place. And I want people to imagine that when they see this piece, that they understand that they are forming a connection to this powerful institution, and then it's on them to go forth and set the world on fire make the world a better place, to take their light and to take their passion out into the world. I think that's the power of education, that's the power of Jesuit education, that's our hope as a law school, and I think this piece embodies that perfectly, the potential we all have to go and make the world a better place. And I hope prospective students see that and feel that when they walk in the building. <clears throat>